Hello everyone, I just wanted to show some of my Washingtonia Robusta seedlings. I just uh, repotted these. They were in a big community pot that didn't have any drainage holes, so that wasn't good for them. And I had a ton of these. I threw, I think the seeds were a hundred that I bought. I probably got a little bit more than that. They were from someone in Texas, uh, somewhere south. I forgot the exact name of the town, but it was south uh, east of Dallas. So it was somewhere that got pretty cold in 2021, but it was, it's typically pretty warm there. So I'm hoping that maybe these are a little bit cold hardier, but I'm not too sure. Uh, obviously, Washingtonia Robusta won't grow here without any form of protection in, uh, in Virginia. You don't really start seeing them until you're in southeastern North Carolina. That's when you occasionally will start to see one. But yeah, these are just kind of, I'm just growing them for fun. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them. So I had a lot more seedlings and uh some a lot of them kind of died off because they were really really clumped together but you can see they're really light stretched because they were inside but i just repotted these uh just, um, maybe some of them will die but hopefully a lot of them will end up just growing fine uh, i have one right here that one i repotted actually like a month ago and it is looking pretty good i just need to straighten it out i'll do that if i repot it again or whatever i do with it might even just plant some of these just kind of as an experiment just to see how big they'll get in one season because they do grow pretty quickly and this one right here used to be really skinny just like these and uh now it's looking pretty good so yeah these are my washingtonio robusta seedlings just wanted to show those i also want to show some of my potted plants up here so this is a sable palmetto from virginia beach now this wasn't left out in the cold or anything what happened is it just dried out in the pot uh it didn't get water for like a month but as you can see gave it some more water and it is coming back so that just shows how tough these are even literally being completely dry uh, sometimes they can come right back and that's what this one's doing this is a little aloe I have no clue what this is it's some sort of hybrid but that's just kind of a house plant it did flower and uh, I need to cut that off here's my agave americana obviously I need to plant that uh, these are some I believe it's called lily of the nile seedlings um well not seedlings they're seeds in a pot but i'm not sure i think it said they grow it takes them like a month to germinate so we'll see i got a bunch of these at myrtle beach they were just uh kind of planted out in front of the hotel i was staying at last summer so we'll see if any grow those are just kind of being grown for fun well like everything really but yeah we'll just see if those come up so here is a virginia beach palmetto this is a, another seedling that i have and as you can see, it's starting to get split leaves. This one I do plan on planting in the ground at some point. And last thing I wanna show is just my bald cypress. As you can see, it is looking really well. Uh, this one I just grew from seed from a local tree growing. And uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good. So I just wanted to show all this stuff up on the porch or up on my deck, some of the plants I have. Some of these will be planted like the agave americana. Some of them will stay potted. But I'm probably gonna plant a lot of them. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll have more videos coming soon.